All right, we are live. Today is April 18th, 2017. Uh, welcome, Winter, Lila, Jay, and Carol. Hello. Hi, uh, one more person. Okay, wonderful. Hello, April. Hi. Um, yes. Hello. Nice sound. I'll give uh, controls to everyone. Sh controls. So we can mute everybody, uh, anybody, every, each other. All right, I can't think anymore. So the announcements are first, I think my people, you people who support me, there was a lot of support in the recent days and um, we are tonight or tomorrow we are we entered the camp already and tonight and tomorrow we are starting the registrations for the hukula ascension workshop in buffalo new york buffalo rochester area and it is going to be on August 3 to August 8, me and Jim. And thank you, Astrid, Angie, and Angie Speed, and Jamie for helping organizing. And thanks, of course, for Jim for helping organize. It's already the fact. We already submitted the deposit. And that's about it. I, um, I'll go now. I will bring in... Yogananda. How is the sound? Perfect. Thank you. Allah, <laughs> Yana. nice energy today. Hello, this is Yogananda. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Thank you. Today, I will start speaking about the work, about the action, about the proactive action, proactive work, proactive movement, initiative, <laughs> a human life is short, it's from birth to death, it is a short period of time. Sometimes you feel a desire, an inclination to withdraw from physical life and come back to the spirit, come up with higher dimensions, come up to the higher dimensions. It's all right. But then, 
you might have noticed your health might go down and your physical life circumstances with challenges that always happen no matter how much you meditate no matter how much you stay in balance once in a while you wake up and face a challenge hmm. you read the news and the challenge is there even inside you feel challenged that's all right it is a na the nature of the game it is the nature of the dream when you wake up and face a new challenge say thank you just realize it is a check mark your previous lesson has been completed your previous struggle has finished the new challenge means the end of the previous lesson and it doesn't matter that much whether you are successful or you fail in facing the challenge from the spirit perspective what matters is what happens in your heart your level of love love is what that what matters love is the main thing that matters when you face a challenge just pay attention how much love is in your heart how much forgiveness how much balance how much peace is in your heart if you face a challenge with love that is all that matters <laughs> as you move forward do you realize that you pick your challenges you can pick your challenges if you don't they are picked for you but if you are proactive if you move forward if you start working right away you define the direction where you are moving you define where you find the challenges you are defining where you find the challenges isn't it nice you define the rules of the game you define the area of work an area of struggle and the area of lessons imagine yourself walking the unfamiliar place maybe a city or a village if you turn right you face the challenges there if you turn left you face the challenges there if you turn back <laughs> you face your old challenges you define where you go it might be a good idea to move forward you see a human body an illusion of human body is designed with a desire with a need for work human body needs to work it needs to work physically it needs to work mentally it needs to work emotionally it needs to be healing it needs to be doing dirty work it is in the design if you don't do physical work the human body starts 
Klagen. Klagen. Swelling. Deteriorating. Physical work is necessary for the human body. You are a soul running a program of a human body. That program is within you. And it is a good idea to work proactively. There is also a flow of divine energy. There is also the divine will, the divine work. You can choose to be doing the divine work. And then your challenges are not your challenges anymore. They're not yours. They are not for you. They are for the forces that you manifest here. So you help them, the higher forces, the forces of the higher intention. You, divide, you help them to do their work and you get more, even more support. You are fully supported. You have your guides, your friends in the spirit helping you all the time. Just ask for their help. And if you sign up to help the higher energies, to help God, to help the Divine Mother, if you sign up to help them, you get even more help. You get even more energy flowing through you. And you get even better assignments, even better challenges, even more important challenges. You choose the purpose of your life. But if you choose it aimed high, you get to play on a higher level. You raise to a higher level of the game. Hmm. People who manifest God, people who take on themselves the labor of the divine nature could be called, sometimes called avatars. They take God in themselves. They shine with the light of God and do the work on the planet. They might be called bodhisattvas, embodying the divine, divine will. And they might be called light workers. You do the work of light where light is God. You're a light worker because you do the work of light, the will of light. When you face the challenge, pay attention to your breathing and pay attention to your smile. You may choose to breathe happily and to smile. And that is the main thing that matters. How much love is within you? How do you face the challenge? Are you in love? Are you in balance? Do you keep breathing? That challenge is for your body. So it is how the body accepts the challenge on the level of breathing, metabolizing, digestion, physiology. <laughs> it's all about digestion. Keep your di digestion happy. That's an ancient Indian secret. When you face a challenge, keep your digestion in balance. And that magically, 
mysteriously transform the outside world take your challenges through your lower chakras and process process the reality through the lower chakras not only mentally not only through the heart but through your belly keep digesting keep processing and be a true light worker i thank you thank you thank you for taking it seriously and smiling <laughs> i'm open to questions or comments Hare krishna prabhu my name is lila manjari and you energy remind me about mine wonderful attraction to a glorious soul maybe for sure you know her ananda maima uh, my dear friend yes could you tell me if i have some connection with her give me a minute Hmm. It is a spiritual connection on a level of spirit design you both are very close to the divine feminine energy the creator energy which is very peaceful and very liquid and very healing and pretty strong let me see if it is it has a name let's just call it Hmm. Rada? Say again. Rada. Rada Rani? Possible. I will just give an English equivalent. It would be a green juice of life. Green juice of life. You know, now we're going to the ascension. We're going to 4D, 5D. And we do have a lot of gurus around the world. I would like to know from you, you idea and understanding own powers, developing own powers and worship of a guru in the time of ascensions. How that works? What is specifically you asking? I heard the question, but can you clarify? What is specifically they want to know? The specific is when we go into relationship with guru, we tend to give up our powers to a guru. But going to the fifth dimension is rather to rediscovering own powers. Would you recommend the relationship with uh, any guru? There are many gurus in our time. Wonderful question. Thank you. I will start from the understanding. What is the noise? Can you mute the noise? I will start from the understanding that you can learn from anyone. Everyone is your teacher. And your best teachers are people who make you change. The best teachers are people who make you change. So maybe your strongest enemy could be your best teacher yet there is a saying even a bad guru you can learn even from a bad guru or even a bad guru can teach you some people have a very close attachment to one single guru 
Some people find that salvation, usually it is survival. If they are attached to a guru, they can survive. Otherwise, they can't. So it happens. And it is to be cherished. Yet many others in our in nowadays can connect to one guru, learn a lesson, connect to another guru, learn a lesson, connect to another guru, learn a lesson, and keep moving. Because you change, you grow, you collect a little bit from everywhere. It is like a Western style of teaching. You learn from very many examples, not from one. Realize I belong to a yogi tradition, to an ancient esoteric tradition of love. It is making everyone equal. It is not a power trip. We are not going after power. We are not going after desires. We are going to dissolve in the divine feminine love, accepting everyone as they are and healing everyone, healing, caring, being kind, being equal, connecting, absorbing, uniting. That is the tradition of my brand of gurus. And there is another a masculine idea of teaching. They go after power. It is masculine idea. They connect to the masculine idea of God. They connect to, connect to the idea of subordinance, of giving up your powers, collecting the powers, building a structure building a temple, building a hierarchy. It is creative. It is to be respected. It is part of their ascension. Building a new structure is absolutely essential part of the ascension. By plugging in into the structure, you build a grid a hierarchical grid, a fractal grid, which will be essential for lifting their vibration, for shifting into the higher density, the structure is necessary. Both feminine and masculine aspect, the love and the power, both are needed. The work which I mentioned today can be done on both levels the healing work the connection work the uniting work and the work of building a structure all of them are essential all, all of them are justified giving you giving up your will plugs in into the system and then you follow the will of the system until you are ready to live. But as you follow the will of the system, you get new powers, lots of new energy, and new lessons. Often it, these are very essential lessons, very challenging lessons. As you plug into the system, you become related to everyone on a new level. Usually it's a third chakra level, but it is still very valuable for many it is step up so for you to decide if it is step up or down or sideways do you gain connection to your inner essence or do you lose your connection to your inner essence is it you is it your path to be within a structure or is it your path to be outside of the structure be connected to everyone equally not in a structured way. It's your choice. And the main criterion is, is it, step, is it a step up? Do you become more 
Lavin, are the lessons now of a higher nature? You always can try and then step back. When you sign up for the guru, when you sign up for the school, when you sign up to join a club, when you sign up to become part of the structure, you usually can become a temporary member. You can be on trial. It, it is a lower level of... What is that word? Being, being a student, a lower level student. And they look at you, you look at them and see how it feels. And if you, the level of your lessons goes up, you might sign up to, to, for more commitment. But yes, commitment is essential. It's up to you to choose it or not. Hope it helps. Thank you. Uh, would you give us, if it's possible for all of us, uh, people who love meditation and wants to do the best uh, information or message from the best yogi on our planet Shiva could we get from him a short message and advice for us mm, hold on a minute For those who didn't start the meditation practice, it's a great idea to start meditating at least a little bit during the day, to focus inside, to disconnect from the worries and look inside and see what comes from your heart, what comes from your inner core, to connect to the divine energy within you, to the universe within you. For those who are already meditating, the next step is to expand your meditation to your whole day. So any time of the day, while doing any work, running fast, or being involved in very strong energies, you still remain in the meditation. Sometimes you might notice yourself, say to you, to yourself, oh, I'm not doing the right stuff. I'm busy with something else. I should be doing something. And then when you pay attention to what you're doing, if you notice that at that time you were praying and meditating, that's a perfect achievement. So if you just check yourself now what I'm doing and you notice yourself praying, chanting and meditating during the day, that's perfect. So be in action, do your work while remaining in a state of inner peace, while remaining connected to the divine energy, while, while being plugged into the divine plan. That's the ultimate meditation achievement. Be a light worker. Be connected to light all the time on all levels, through all chakras. And be involved in the real <laughs> physical world. It's very important to be in the two places at once. <coughs> in the spirit, closely connected to your spirit closely connected to your soul, closely connected to the oversoul, having a link to the divine creation and being in the physical, being connected to your body, being grounded to your body, being grounded to physical reality at the same time. And if you cannot do it at once, shift back and forth at your own pace 
but don't forget to shift back and forth, back and forth. It's your focus of attention. You can have one focus or two forces, one in the spirit, one in the physical. And smile and be thankful and work diligently. You can choose to work. It's to your benefit. Your physical body needs to work. And your spirit is in that dream with an assignment to work. Amen. Thank you. Uh, now we can change the focus to a personal question. I have a question from April Wright. She has a throbbing pain in her heart. And she would like to know if it's something what she can do to move her energy through heart and make a better changes. So something is in the heart. Maybe we can look into that. Yes, give me me. Thank you. April, thank you. Thank you for inviting help. That is the major step to trust that the help will come. Trust the help will come. <laughs> smile. With a smile, you open the door for the help. Smile. Sometimes it's difficult to smile because you feel like you're losing energy when you smile. You're sending the energy out and not receiving it back. So receiving it back is the key. There is a blockage of sadness. There is a blockage of tragedy which blocks the income of energy to your heart. The way to heal that tragedy, that tragedy, to heal the blockage <clears throat> is first to accept it is there. And the second thing is to forgive, to realize you don't have to hold on to it. You can let it go. Cough it out. <coughs> Cough it out. Release it with your fluid. Release it with food. Release it with physical work. Release it with breathing. Just let it go. It was all right. It had to happen. It's your misinterpretation that made it tragic. It's all right, whatever happened. That thing that happened, these things that happened, they happened for a reason. It was in the plan. Take it easy. The rest of your life, until you leave that body, that body can go freely without that pain, without that blockage. Part of that pain is in your blood, is in your water crystal in your body. That water crystal carries through your body the tragedy. Smile and transform it into okay. It's okay. It's fine. Whatever. Accept the death. You will die and accept that. Don't be afraid of it. It's a liberation. It's coming home. So whenever it comes, don't rush it. But whenever it comes, it's not tragic. It's okay. It is just a dream you're dreaming of being alive. And in that dream, it's your choice to accept things as they are. Cough it out. Smile. It's all right. And trust the help will come, but you have to smile to it and accept it. Yes, people treated you wrongly. Forgive them. Their reality is harsh to you. Forgive it. 
just look at the beauty of the nature look at the beauty and hold on to the beauty look at the beauty of yourself you're still a child and you're still a beautiful child keep that connection to your beautiful child you are beautiful and the nature around you is beautiful and there is beauty in everyone just recognize it even in their tragedy there is tragedy there is beauty take it easy you are being helped step one invite help step two smile and accept it <laughs> I thank you for I have, it and accept it. thank yes. you i have addition additional question for april yes we, we humans we like to know our connections and maybe could you tell her what angel or what particular being is around her so she can maybe call upon and get more uh, spiritually intimate with that person asking for help sending love exchanging love i think that would help her very much thank you i see two angelic looking young girls around you they're smiling they're sending you their love light sparkles laughter they're around you they are sending it to you it's up to you to accept they are with you they're guardians helpers they send a lot of love to you they're blonde they're pretty they are mm, young adolescent <laughs> The names. It sounds something like Ailila and Ailila, but um, it's imperfect. Just take it as a, as a hint. That's all. Are the twins? No. Uh, next question I have for Winter Moon. She's asking if she has any reincarnation in India and what did she do there if she was if she was having the incarnation? Yes, more than one, but that's all I can say now. Any more questions? Uh, next one comes Kina. Hey, Kina. You can speak, you can unmute yourself. Possibly. Or you can type your questions and Leila would read it. what what mantra would you recommend for our times do you have like would you recommend maha mantra like the main mantra or would you recommend because they are unlimited mantras could you tell us a little bit more about importance of mantras and how specific are they are to specific beings yes um, hold on a second hmm. Mantras are even more important than your clothing. Try on yourself different mantras and feel how they feel to you. And then design the one which works for you. A secret of a mantra is that it has to be mysterious. It doesn't have to be simple. It doesn't have to be understood. If it is on a, in a known language, it is even better because it holds more when you don't understand the words. <laughs> come up with your own mantra and try it and it will be different from day to day but as you go with different mantras from day to day one dominant shiny one will come to you and will hold your vibration it could be your personal it will be your personal develop it it will 
be with you at any time. And holding on to that mantra is wonderful. That is the connection to the spirit. That is the vibration which connects you to the spirit at any time you wish. You can say it and get immediately, immediate reconnection. If you lost the connection, if the phone line has been disconnected, that mantra will bring you back. Keep chanting, keep chanting, keep speaking, keep bubbling. Your favorite mantra will show itself, it will reveal itself. It might come in a dream, it can, might come in a awake state, just keep bubbling. And when you get onto it, you might not recognize it at once, but with days, as days go, it will shine for you brighter and brighter. I cannot give it to you, it's yours. You have to take it through the spirit. I can give it to you through the spirit, but not through the physical means. Thank you. Next question is from me for, for all of us. Is, is anybody in this group right now connected to you on personal level from the past? <laughs> yes, of course, but that's all I can say. Wonderful. Did the speaker work? I can hear you. You can hear me? Uh, yes. Uh, um, I, I wanted to come back uh, about the mantra. Uh, you're correct. Uh, I, it was 2 a.m. in the morning, which I hear that is when uh, both polarities meet. Um, I received my uh, mantra. Oh my God, it was so beautiful that it's, it's um, very hard to remember all of the tonations. So I had to simplify it. Uh, going back to the ohm sound and hopefully it would vibrate all the other beautiful tonation sounds that I receive as my mantra at 2 a.m. in the morning. So yes, if you do meditate daily and do the ohm sound, maybe uh, like you, Yogananda said, in your dreams, in a situation, you will receive the vibration return to you on your alpha quiet moment. Um, that's what I wanted to say. Blessings to you today, uh, Yogananda. This is Shanti. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shanti, thank you for <laughs> contributing. Thank you for sharing. Wonderful. Oh, I'm so happy you're there. <laughs> Oh, Yogananda, thank you. The next question, if if you are ready, it is about the caste system in India. Could you tell us who created the caste system and if the caste system is going to the fifth dimension, if, if this is that better system or what is your opinion on that? <laughs> you might see how beautiful ideas, beautiful understandings can get corrupted. <laughs> like in uh, Christianity, the message was love each other, right? Everyone is son of God. We are building a temple of ascension. That was the message. <laughs> And instead of Temple of Ascension, you get 
houses covered with gold <laughs> collecting money <laughs> and hierarchy of power and lots of fear and anger the idea of caste system is a corruption of the idea of ascension as well <laughs> the idea is that there are that human body is built on seven chakras and each chakra has its own manifestations in the physical world and young souls usually not always usually start with the first chakra and the body usually is born with the first chakra strong which is screaming second milk and other simple survival functions and some people live the whole life focused on the first chakra which is survival and they suck the cigarette because they have still that sucking instinct <sighs> <laughs> and they suck on the straw of their carbonated sugar drinks <laughs> it's first chakra instinct being a baby but then it was corrupted in the idea of that being inherited which is not right it is completely wrong so people were assigned to a lower caste and called untouchables and people were assigned to the lower caste one of the lower castes and called physical workers and they weren't allowed to their children weren't allowed to work on anything else which is completely incorrect the children of any parents can go to any can can be born with a very developed souls and can be at any develop developmental level of the soul they can go anywhere from one to seven and even above so that is what is wrong with the caste system it was the way of managing a big society it was a way of bringing power and control and separation it served the purpose of learning but it is obsolete it has been obsolete for a long time it has to go yes the person goes from the first chakra to the second but nowadays many souls are incarnated who have had all the chakras developed and they are they can be born with all the chakras active some souls come from the other planets where the higher chakras are very active and they have trouble go grow going back down to the lower chakras so the whole principle of going from bottom to top is not working often many light workers have their third eye open they have their fifth chakra open they have crown fully open and they grow from the top to the bottom grounding is the challenge for them being in the body is challenge for them what caste are they <laughs> they're not from any caste so the caste system is a corruption of a great idea of development of the soul from the bottom to top but some souls have the heart wide open and the third eye wide open and other chakras could be in balance so it could be very beautiful and no caste can be assigned to that beauty it's obsolete wonderful i'm 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 glad that the caste system is not what everybody thinks or how praised it was like that is the absolute that's supposed to be wonderful 
It's so not absolute, it is obsolete. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for Winter Moon. She's in, she's here, yeah. and she would like to know who is her spirit guide and maybe the name or a little bit more about her spirit guide. I can give you only a couple hints to connect. One hint is connect on blue color, just blue. Very bright blue. I don't even know that anything on earth which would represent bright blue. Just super bright, super clean blue. And second is the shape of the pagoda. I think the pagodas are Chinese and Japanese, I guess, Chinese pagoda of that roof. Just connect to that shape. It will guide you to, the, to your guide. Thank you. Okay, next one is Carol. Yay. Uh, hi, uh, Yogananda. I'm Carol Bhattati. <laughs> Yogananda, I heard that the um, the chakra system is uh, becoming more um, uh, disrupt, uh that the DNA will be uh, coming more into effect. Um, I was what? writing. I was writing a book on uh, chakras, but someone told me that the chakra system is getting old and that now we are going into the DNA system oh, more. Hold on a second. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. Yes, it was mostly in Atlantis when the chakra system was strong and it was a major tool for the body development. It was the purpose of Atlantis to build a strong body. Their bodies were big, they experimented with genetic engineering, and there was a lot of experimentation. And there is a noise coming. Can you mute that noise? There was a lot of experimentation which was based on the seven chakras. They were much respected. Realize that even now, seven chakras. Hi, can you mute yourself? Just click the mute button. You can speak later and unmute yourself. So you realize that these seven chakras are seven vibrations, seven frequencies corresponding to musical notes and to the colors of rainbow. All of them I in your DNA. All of them, these vibrations are in the structure of your DNA. Your DNA can see on all the notes, including the seven notes and including the seven colors. And of course, on the musical scale, there are 12 notes. And on more advanced musical scales, there is unlimited number of notes. And so is in your chakras. Realize that a chakra is a vibration which is also defined by the distance between the center of your head. There is no center. Okay, Be between your brain and the vertebrae. The longer the distance, the slower is the vibration. And the vibration goes lower and lower and lower. The shorter the distance, the higher is the vibration. 
it is every vertebrae has a different tone a different color so there are intermediate chakras there are chakras for your nipples there are chakras for your hands there are chakras on your palms there are vibrations and it's called modulations the shape of the wave which which are different it is multi-dimensional waves with different shapes so it's not only the frequency but it is the shape of the wave which is different and it is all plays into your blood all the water in your body and of course the dna the dna can harbor and resonate on all these frequencies and shapes of the wave it can be a tooth a shark tooth tape with sharp corners it can be tilted to the right tilted tilted to the left it can have multiple uh, peaks in the wave it can be it's only one dimension but it could be multiple dimensions merged together into the chord and music and it is also developing in time as music is played in time of course it is much more complex but the idea of seven major connections to the levels they're also connected to the levels of your body like astral body mental body atman body causal body and so on so these levels they are artificially on the level of the spirit in the in the spirit world there are also veils the spirit world has levels which are veiled from each other so to make the vibration stronger if you squeeze the vibration between certain levels it's not getting polluted it's purer and stronger so there's a little separation between the chakras corresponds to separation between the levels of the spirit world between and also the veils which separate different densities like third density fourth density fifth density and so on it is they protect each other there are <clears throat> wise spirits white spirit creator forces which work on keeping the system working and building a spiritual filters and walls to enable the purity of the vibration so yes the dna is it becomes more harmonious less blocked when the new frequency vibrations open in your dna with every new upgrade there is more and more complexity and it is of course it is unlimited your friend your liran friends your yayel friends your pleiadian friends have more frequencies in their body vibrations but there is some beauty in the earth genome and a beauty in the earth design of homo sapiens it has the vibrations of many 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 races you have a lyran vibration you have a pleiadian vibration all of the homo sapiens and that's the beauty and these vibrations come together and as the waves of new energy are coming to earth as the downloads of the new upgrades are coming to the human bodies these vibrations become open so it is all the same it's all in one dna and chakras is the same system you cannot separate one from another yes you are being upgraded and often when you feel sick take it as an upgrade take it as an upgrade especially new infections which come and go very fast these are usually upgrades which add a little bit of the code to your dna add a little bit of a new vibration to your dna and sometimes a lot of new vibration to your dna it's up to you how to accept it some become damaged and some accept with grace keep breathing keep smiling and whenever you can keep working and moving forward Thank you. Wonderful question.
Wow, thank you, Yogananda. So I can continue finishing my book after all. Next well, question. Oh, next hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Book. Okay. What's the question about the book? I am almost halfway done finishing my book on the chakras, but I stopped because I needed to understand the system of the chakras in the DNA. So I can still continue finishing writing my book after all. Absolutely. Um, it's up. It's up to you. You have the information. The information is available. I will be nearby sending you more. Whenever you can accept it, write it down. Write it down. Make it pretty and send it to the world. It is there. The information is needed. We are ready to deliver it. Wow. Just keep your channels open to accept more and finish it of course i bless your work i bless your creativity it is needed it is timely please work on finishing thank you blessings to you young ananda blessings Shanti. next one is kina alam yay No sound coming so far. Okay, then we move. We will move on to Temple Beautiful. Okay, Kina, you might type your question, and Lila would read it. So, Temple, are you ready? Um, sure. Yep, I can hear. Him. I'm just wondering if there is a message from. My higher self to me, I had quite an experience last night, and um, so I'm just wondering if there's any information that I should know. What experience was it? <clears throat> um, it's probably it's, it was quite a long experience, so it's hard to explain. But um, it it basically, uh, long story short, I guess too much information was known, and it put me in danger. <laughs> What kind of danger? Um, I'm not really sure. Um, I was taken away, and there was a good group and a bad group, and uh, I don't know, or maybe like just two groups, maybe not a good group and bad group, but um, it was just very, very real, and so I just want to make sure that maybe I need to keep my mouth shut or something. I don't know. I just want to see if there's a, a message from my higher self to me. There is much love and compassion coming towards your way. There is much healing coming towards your wave, way. And um, the advice is take it easy. It's you're being caught in a drama. But the lesson for you is to ride away without much understanding you're not given understanding intentionally so you won't be burned with that understanding you wouldn't be burned with the responsibility but your choice could be suggested choice would be to learn absorb and be an, an active absorber without actually trying to change things and without actually been scared too much you know there are some reporters news reporters that go into the center of the events and they're not afraid for some reason <clears throat> they take on their duty take understand that they are there just to observe without being involved in the events and that could be your choice i know you want to speak just a second go ahead uh, I was going to say, um, yes, I wasn't afraid um, with everything that happened last night. I just took it almost as a warning that uh, I needed to be careful with, I, I don't know, I needed to be careful with, with what I'm trying to learn and that other people 
maybe don't need to know information that I, I don't know. But I wasn't really scared. I was strong. <laughs> Thank you. Um, also, also you, you might want to, the messages, you might want to choose your loyalties and alignments. You, you, you might want to choose who you really like and connect to them, become associated with them, and that gives you certain, certain protection. Not full protection, but certain protection. Of course, you can change these loyalties later, but choosing what is, what is your vibration and what is your preference and clearly inviting their help. For example, it never hurts to invite help of angelics. Inviting the help of their energies which are of your vibration, your siblings, brothers, your kind, invite these energies that would stabilize the things and make the ride more comfortable. Um, can I ask one more thing? Yay. Was, were the two sides different galactic sides in what happened last night? Or two different, two different groups, <clears throat> galactic groups? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's okay. more like the, some of them are desperate. And some of them work f not from their desire to harm anyone, but from desperation. They are desperate. And some of them just are more connected to the, to the positive side and uh, work from the desire of serving others. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I understand a good portion of what happened and, and why I was allowed to be shown this. Um, so, okay, thank you. All right, absolutely. And um, also possible, just as an option, it's possible that they need it an earth human to look at it and basically you speak for earth humans at that moment your emotions contribute to the uh it's it's all overseen by higher level aliens more like arcturian type of aliens and they needed to show you that to see the reaction of an earth human on the situation so you were like a uh, a representative. The, the problem is, I don't think I am an Earth human. <laughs> um, <laughs> you are a human not, and you but... are on Earth. So that was sufficient. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Almost no one here is an Earth human, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one is Kina Alem. She can ask, she has a few questions. Go ahead. So far, Kino, your microphone was silent. Why don't you type a question? Okay, I'm going to read her question. Uh, when the focus start to choose for the next frequency, how to focus the consciousness to activating new frequencies if we don't know how to define unconditional abundance and sometimes we find more accurate to choose a 3D identity for the next now. I recognize Kina's style. Can you read it again? It is a multi-dimensional question. It's, uh... I know. <laughs> I can't get it either. <laughs> no, it's it's there. It's multidimensional. There are like yeah, so questions in one. Uh, let's read it again slowly, and take uh, take a breath. Yes. She's asking about breathing. Just read it. Just read it. Okay. When the focus start to choose 
for the next frequency mm -hmm. how to focus the consciousness mm -hmm. for activating new frequency yes okay so maybe that let's answer this first oh easy easy um the answer is you don't know you're not supposed to know you are playing here the game where <laughs> play it with yourself in a safe situation just tie your eyes and try to move around just a little bit <laughs> don't hurt yourself and you will get a lot of experience just from not being able to see same thing the dream of earth life is walking the path with the closed eyes you you don't know you're not supposed to know the fact is that just the experience of choosing the focus is more important than actually if you chose it right or not there is no right choice it is the experience that matters and how and what you choose matters much less so try empirically you have even in that short life you have many choices and even during a few minutes you can you can shift your focus back and forth try here and there mm -hmm. and use your reiki hands to to feel use your heart and reiki hands and third eye to feel am i in the right place and the answer will come but first you choose and then you get the answer that's it empirically next, next thank you next question from her is if it's possible to meditate without breathing because breathing seems destructive <laughs> to me absolutely yes it was destructive to me too some of us are capable of meditating without breathing for days <laughs> but it is a challenge it is a trick yes holding a breath for a short time just comfortable short time allows you to bring that inner peace for a second for a short time you grab you anchor anchor into that peaceful dimension you build a connection it's like the vortex in the water if you do it right for a short time sometimes it grows and grows and grows and reaches very far to the bottom and one once that link this wormhole is established you can start breathing again and hold that connection it is multi-dimensional so whatever your physical body is doing should not disturb the connection you build a wormhole and you remain connected for a while so that's the trick but of course there are many many tricks the breathing itself can become automatic periodic easy and sometimes it's hard but sometimes when you get into the right frequency into the right state of soul into the right vibration the breathing brings you so much pleasure and the breathing itself that wave oscillation of breathing connects you to the certain very high creator level the divine mother level connection frequency resonance so breathing is a bliss breathing is a gift appreciate it Yogananda? Yes. Um, also, is putting the tongue on your palate can help also uh, control the breathing and quiet it and center it? It closes a certain electrical and aesthetical circuit, yes. It's an interesting approach. Of course try it see if it works for you also work with your hands hands are important they also open and close certain circuits 
start with a chant simple om will do and then stop the chanting but keep that vibration inside tune into that vibration and then in your soul try that try that it's 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 a technique which is one of my favorites yes mine too step, <laughs> step up in the music up and up and go into ultrasound go higher 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 from hertz to tens of hertz to hundreds of hertz to thousands of hertz to tens of thousands keep up and up and go from sound to the light frequency and beyond in x-ray go higher and higher raise your frequency in your mind you cannot see it you cannot see it but go up and up and up until you become shifted out shifted to the level of connection to the creator your goal is to connect to the highest level next question from kina is uh how to hold to choose high frequency in the next now when we cannot see anything no proof <laughs> And the same answer, you're not supposed to. That's the nature of the dream. You cannot know the answer. If you knew the answer, it wasn't the exam. If you knew the answer, it wasn't a lesson. <laughs> if it was that simple, it wouldn't be Earth. <laughs> if it was that simple, it wouldn't be Earth. If it was that simple, you wouldn't be a Homo sapiens. Um, if it was it simply wouldn't be homo galacticus but shift shift it is about love <laughs> it is about kindness and love be kind to yourself be kind to others and the ultimate test, ultimate challenge, ultimate choice is to love the creator and love the creation. And as you shift, it is your choice to be more into the, in the state of love and manifest the idea of love through your whole entirety, through the synthesis of your body and your spirit through the merge of your physical and all other bodies through a bright music in your dna it is about singing love on the dna level and when the song becomes right you will know it Thank you. And thank you. Wonderful questions. Thank you. I have a little bit entertainment question. All right. Yeah. That was entertainment so far. <laughs> I had a dream with Ganesh. Yay. And he it was a kind of a uh, initiation. I was told by a bean to channeling. It is possible to access what 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 the initiation was about and if i got any message from ganesh for me all right you know the answer right <laughs> i don't maybe he wants some sweets ah <laughs> uh. Hmm. What was his mood? Well, it was it was in New York, and he met me on the street, and I was very surprised that seeing her, seeing him, and from his trunk came water. I put hands like a bowl together. He poured the water in my hands, the bowl, and I put over my head. 
He didn't speak mm-hmm. to me. That's why it's all was kind of a mystery. It was long okay. time. Yes. And it's still valid. The message is um, once in a while, you need to cry. You would benefit from being sad, expressing sadness and crying. Not all the time, but once in a while. It's about crying. And the water was symbolizing the uh, tears. Washing tears, washing over you. Just wash away the sadness through tears. That's the message. Thank you. It's very practical. Of course. Yogananda, it's Shanti. I have a question. Yeah, yeah, Shanti. <laughs> um, do when we receive Shakti Pa? What is Shakti Pa? I'm, I'm, I'm. Max is. You need to explain. Uh, can we still receive Shakti Pa without receiving it from a, a, a person on Earth? Are we still? Receiving Shakti Pa from above, from masters also, with, uh, uh, or, or is this just a um, uh, human connection one to one with the uh, master to receive Shakti Pa? Can you explain Shakti Pa? Can we receive it here on earth with the person, and can we receive it from above also? You see, my when I'm channeling, it's still Max here. The Yogananda plays my <laughs> my notes like piano, and Max have no idea. I'm blocked. Uh, what is Shakti Pa? I, I don't know what it is. A Shakti Pa is when you touch the person's third eye and you uh, trans uh, uh, transfer energy. A Shakti Pa, a blessing. All right. Okay, it is clear. So, what was the question? Is Shakti Pa can only be received by a master on earth, or, or can we, with the new energy, can we receive Shakti Pa, blessing Shakti Pa, into the initiate also from above? Great can question. Can you or Babaji still send me Shakti Pa blessing, even though they are not present in front of me? It's Max here. The Yogananda energy is it's here. I, I feel it. It's uh, it's beautiful. I'm switching back to the question. Just 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 a second. <sighs> Include it in your practice. Just place the hand on your third eye. Once a day, not too frequent, but once a day would be great. And keep upgrading. Yes, as you do that, it doesn't matter if it is left hand or right hand, both alternate them because left hand would give you one kind of upgrade and the right hand would give you another kind of upgrade. And invite us to send the resonance through their circuit which you form with your hand through the third eye. It's very healing, very good upgrade, and it works on several vibrations at the same time. It's very symbolic and positive. And the intention behind it is to reconnect, to reconnect with home energies. To reconnect with the levels of high vibration and uh, you can use the image and the smell of the purple rose to do that purple rose yes uh does it help is there any clarification there Oh, need. wonderful. Yes, thank you, uh, Yogananda. <laughs> yes, thank, thank you, you so much. What Indian spices would you recommend for us light worker in Western world to use it? 
for ascension, ascension uh, spy Indian spices. It is an art. Everyone has a unique vibration, so experiment empirically. But it is a perfect time for starting. And again, empirically, you try it and see how does your vibration change. It's not only bringing the new spices, it's removing the, the older vibrations which prevent you from harmonizing. You don't really need to go shift up. You need to harmonize. So part of you remains in the physical and part of you that is in the higher density vibration, they are connected. So it's about reconnection and harmonizing. Start, of course, with um, coriander seed, powdered coriander seed. Start with different types of cumin and caraway. <laughs> I can go on and on. Experiment C, some of you are at different levels of physical, physical acceptance of the high vibration and the spice. Learn how to cook it. Learn how to take it. You play it like piano from day to day. It can be different. Garam masala, play with garam masalas. There are multiple garam masalas, different kinds. It's not the spice itself, it is the vibration. It's not the spice itself, it's the way of life. As you connect to these plants, they connect you to the earth and you are made of earth. And the earth sends you tons of different beautiful vibrations to harmonize you. The spies allows you to tune into these vibrations and receive the beautiful energies. You are like a sailing ship. If you put up sails, you get the wind into your sails. So the spices allow you to anchor in these vibrations easier. And <laughs> all Western spices are also there, garlic. It anchors certain vibration, onion, anchors certain vibration, carrot. And uh, flowers. Now it's a time for flowers. Go smell the flowers, bring them in, go out and smell the trees, smell the grass. These vibrations are all yours. Mint, different kinds of mint. Connect to the mint vibration. It could you can choose to be dominant vibration during the day. Fresh mint. <laughs> mm. I invite you for dinner, Yogananda. You can come and eat my samosas. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> they smell nice. <laughs> I will do it through you. You can be my Mm, bodhisattva. Yes. <laughs> I'll taste for you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm uh, I'm running low on juice. Mm, I take uh, urgent questions and uh, we'll close. I think we are done. Yay. Today, you drink some. Thank you. Wonderful questions today. Nice energies. Thank you for your engagement. Thank you for your work. We thank you, Yogananda. Blessings to you. Have a great day. Blessings to you. Does anyone have a galactic language to um, to say for the exit? I can do one. Ti kiti anana na koso shuara i ane ya kasashi kiti anana na wa kasashi katoho ashiki.
Noro waka sata hai ya waka si shiaro ana iya kasa shata kahai ya wasi kia nanana. Shokoro wa shokoro wa niya kati kiki ya shoro wa ya kiki ya ro ana iya a a shosho wa kiki ya nanana wasi shiaro. Namaste. Ai ai han 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 han. Any more blessings, chants, language? That was beautiful, Yogananda. Thank you. Thank you. I can do one. Yeah. Ashina i kuta ya ma hua ya na ya na bo na na ya wata ya mandi ya na tau ya ya ta ko mandi ya. Ya ka an tak om ka i ya an na an na na hota ka la ka la kana ma ha ya un da un da un ara na kana hushu ra kana apa ya pa apa 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 ta ya ya ka la ka la kana huma una ya ayun ayashata 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 all right thank you very much thank you max keep your day bright keep your nights happy stay in your body and be connected to the spirit do your diligence do your research keep learning and keep learning not only through your mind but through your emotions make choices wisely be in love be in love with people be in love with the nature be in love with the creator be full of the divine energy keep that connection strong keep your feminine side bright keep it fully connected with you if the energy is yours the guides are with you choose to accept the guidance choose to accept help Choose health. Choose to be in love. Amen. Oh, thank you. Спасибо. Thank you. Thank you. It was a nice uh, help you got me. A uh, uh, nice energy. And uh, Lila, special thanks to you. It was uh, a lot of help. Uh, nice voice and nice uh, support. Everybody, thank you much. Thank you, Max. Blessings to you. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye.